Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm live streaming on YouTube. This is Richard W. Painter. I was a candidate for Senate from Minnesota, but I lost the primary to Tina Smith. Congratulations, Tina. Before we get into what I'm going to do, I'm going to be doing tweets. Please stand by and we'll be right back. Hope you enjoyed my intro. I am back, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm going to be showing you some of my tweets. Here, I'm in the corner of the screen, and I will bring up my tweets. Twitter account. Hold still. This is about Donald Trump. If he was personally responsible for reimbursing Cohen for the money, he was required to disclose that obligation on Form 278. He did not do so. So what's the true story, real Donald Trump? Yeah, what, what's the true story, President Trump? How come? How come? There's another one. If the payoff was Trump's money, it needed to be listed on his Form 278 Public Financial Disclosure. It wasn't. So either he lied on Form 278 in violation of 18 U.S.C. 1001 false statements, or he is lying now, and it was an unreported and illegal campaign contribution via Cohen. And this is what Norm Eisen said. Breaking. In running away from Cohen's claim today, Trump bumbled right into admitting that he lied on his financial disclosures and violated 18 U.S.C. 101. This was already the subject of a crew crew criminal complaint that led to an OGE referral to DOJ, Department of Justice. Trump just proved our case. One more. Excessive partisanship is one reason Congress won't crack down on Trump's financial conflicts of interest. Another reason is that members of Congress are too busy dealing with their own conflicts of interest. Welcome to the Congressional Investment Club, guys. That was, uh, that was it. Hope you enjoy it. I enjoyed writing it. I hope you like that, and if you'd like to subscribe to this puppet vlog, please subscribe. The subscribe button is on the right side of the screen where my hand is pointing.